Hi, I'm Pilot Delta Golf 77 and in this video I will show you how to use Auto 4XP. First we will start the program. Here I have to choose the zoom level of the photo scenery. My favorite is 17. I will show you in a minute some differences. Now you have to build the overlays. If you use the default scenery, you have to choose this folder. and just press ok by the way in this tutorial I just want to show you how to create photo scenery very fast click on earth style map I don't want to go into the details and technical stuff just choose these two boxes and now you can choose which tile you want to create you can select multiple tiles by holding the shift key for demonstration i will only choose one tile the last step is to click on batch build in the second window you will see that auto 4 xp starts to build the photo scenery A great resource for sim flyers is Sim Heaven. You will find some information about the zoom level and the necessary disk space in the FHQ section. I recommend to use zoom level 17 because it has a very good space to quality ratio. More information about photo scenery is also available on Sim Heaven. I will post a link in the description. Auto 4XP has finished, so we can close the program. Now we will browse to the Auto 4XP folder and then to the Tile folder. Here we will find all the generated tiles. We have to select the relevant tile and copy it to the custom scenery folder of Xplane. The next step is to do exactly the same with the overlay folder. We will go to Auto 4XP and copy the overlay folder to the custom scenery folder of Xplane. Now we will start explain to update the ini file. We will close it. Go to the ini file. Your new tile should be at the top of the list. We will just cut it and paste it to the bottom of this file. You have to do the same with the overlay folder. Just cut it from the top of the list and paste it above the Z folder. Just save the file and enjoy your new photo scenery.